Here we go with today's Mostly Interesting. And of course, we all know the old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yes. And research and reserve in Texas is hoping that's true. The Mission Arkansas Reserve is holding an auction of items that have washed up on the beach. And they got a lot of weird stuff. Mm. A bunch of decapitated dolls, for example, covered in barnacles. <laughs> a mysterious Ew. mask. Oh, God, it's gross. And a mermaid statue as well. So all of this was found during research surveys of the beach. No telling where it came from. They could be from someone's home, for example. Money raised during the auction will help rehabilitate marine turtles and birds near the Texas coast. So if they can find anybody to buy this stuff, I feel like that's going to be a good thing. Yeah. By just to support the cause. Oh, yeah. Even if you just recycle it. <laughs> Exactly. I was going to say throw it out, but then I felt like that was not part of the problem. I like I like what you said. We'll recycle, recycle it. it. Yes. Yes. Maybe somebody wants a doll head covered in barnacles. That was scary looking, wasn't it? I didn't like that at all. No. That'll give me nightmares. No. Actually, someone we'll probably start an art museum with all really scary doll heads. There you go. Probably already exists. Can yeah. you imagine? We should do it if it doesn't. Staring at you? Yeah. It's our idea. <laughs> Better than the banana. We invent a tape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. This one comes from our frivolous lawsuit file. Oh, we love a frivolous lawsuit. Taco Bell is going to war and it's all over Taco Tuesday. Now, according to the Associated Press, the saying is trademarked by a Wyoming based restaurant called Taco John's. But Taco Bell says because so many other companies use the saying, Taco John's can't have exclusive rights. In a filing, Taco Bell said Taco Tuesday is critical to everyone's Tuesday to, apprive, to deprive anyone of saying Taco Tuesday is like depriving the world of sunshine itself. The filing was submitted, of course, on a Tuesday. Taco John's responded to the filing by announcing a two-week Taco Tuesday promotion. Yes, Taco John's. <laughs> According to AP, Taco John's rarely enforces its trademark. <laughs> the beef for trademarking the words uh, even include NBA star LeBron James, who failed to get it trademarked in 2019. I enjoy this a lot. Yeah. Because, first of all, it's interesting that they trademarked Taco Tuesday in the first place. Yes. And they could not buy that kind of publicity. publicity. So they trademarked it. Taco Bell is taking it and saying, well, you're depriving everyone. No, Taco Bell. They did it. Yeah. It's theirs. <laughs> Find a new slogan. It seems like they have a good attitude about it. Yeah. Which I enjoy, that they're not, inf they're not really enforcing it. Right, right. <laughs> Till Taco Bell comes along. Then yeah. ding, 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 ding. Cashola. I see you string of Taco John's popping up in the future. Yes, mucho quesadillas. As long as Papa John's doesn't get upset with Taco John's. Whatever. That'll be for another day on Mostly Interesting. There we go.